What's up, everybody? This is your official pregame show. We are on the road to new beginning here in Sapporo. I'm Kevin Kelly along with Don Callis. It has already been a bang and start to 2018 as Wrestle yeah. Kingdom set all kinds of records. But now we're here in the snowy North Don as we prepare for a series of events over the next uh, 15 days or so that will settle the issue regarding all the champions here in New Japan. Did you make any New Year's resolutions this year? I did, and uh, I can't wait for my new commentary partner to show up. I'm it's still waiting. I'm not going talking to, to people, a lot of, lot of talk. Well, yeah. People complaining about the weather. I'm from Winnipeg. This, I was outside in my shorts today, Kevin. It was very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Uh, so today, we've got uh, nine matches in all, and you'll be able to see the entire event live on njpwworld.com. In fact, in a few moments, I'll tell you the rest of the schedule over the New Beginning Tour. So you're going to make sure you uh, want to tune in for that. How about our main event today when you talk about the Intercontinental Championship with Hiroshi Tanahashi defending against Minoru Suzuki? Is the champ in a lot of trouble? Well, I think he's in a lot of trouble. I think with the injury history Tanahashi's had this year, that Minoru Suzuki might be the last person that you would want to be in the ring with. But listen, very much I see Tanahashi as the Tom Brady. See what mm -hmm. I did there? of New Japan Pro Wrestling. He's a guy that you don't think he should keep winning, but he keeps winning, he keeps defying the odds, he keeps coming through in the fourth quarter, but he's up against a wrecking machine, a beautiful sadist in Minoru Suzuki. And certainly an extra motivated Minoru Suzuki after what he went through at Wrestle Kingdom, not only losing the never open weight champion championship to Hiroki Goto, but also having to suffer the shame of shaving his own head. Uh, obviously, we'll see how all that plays out. Now, we know that at the end of the new beginning in Osaka on February 10th, live here on NJPWWorld.com, the final match of the tour will be Kazuchika Okada defending the IWGP Heavyweight Championship against Sonata. Now, between now and then, especially today, we're going to see a series of tag team matches involving members of Chaos and members of Los Ingobernables de Japón. Today in our semifinal, uh, we will see other members of Chaos including the newest member, Switchblade Jay White, teaming with Yo and Show Rapongi 3K against the elite, the, the elite, perhaps the greatest three-man. You butchered that. Please stop. Terrible. The, the, perhaps the best uh, three-man combination like you're in, uh, in history. What are your thoughts about that tag team encounter today? I think you've got six tremendous athletes, but when you're in the ring with the elite, when you're in the ring with... The Young Bucks, the greatest tag team of all time, and Kenny Omega, the god of mm. professional wrestling. Sorry, Carl Gotch. Kenny Omega is not just the real world champion. He's the god of professional wrestling. It's going to just be too much for Switchblade Jay White. The newest member of Chaos. He He's great, like, but I, what, what? You look like you're missing a jewel there. A on jewel your... on my coat? Yeah. Kagami! 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 It's Japanese for mirror. Why? What? Seriously? You're stopping down the whole production? Losing. Yeah, see? Someone stole that. Oh. Ten cents you'll never get back. So as I mentioned, it's uh, it, it, just before the, uh, the match with the Elite taking on Rapongi 3K and Switchblade Jay White, it's another six-man tag team encounter with Kazuchika Okada, the new never open weight champion Hiroki Goto, and Gato, the playmaker against Los Ingobernables de Japones. Uh, Bushi, What'd you call him? The playmaker? Playmaker. And the Walking new paper. IWGP heavyweight tag team champions, Evil and Sonata. Wow. So a preview of some things that are going to be brewing on this entire tour. Um, Gato seems to have Okada clicking on all cylinders right now, overcoming Naito at Wrestle Kingdom. Uh, certainly a, a lot of momentum on his side. I think most people are saying he is a heavy favorite going in to Osaka against Sonata. You know, the thing is that I've noticed in my year here, and I started here a year ago. Congratulations. Thank you. Very, very welcome. Happy, happy anniversary. Happy Donniversary. Happy Donniversary. Hashtag that Name one. a pay-per-view that. Um, but no, seriously, the, the, where I've seen o, uh, Okada have problems is with superior athletes. He's a guy that he does well against guys like Suzuki who rough him up because Okada is very Nick Bockwinkle-esque. He can absorb a tremendous amount of punishment. Sonata is a freak athlete. Yeah. And that is the sort of thing that he can hit a freak athletic move and he could maybe catch one on Okada, who, as we've said over and over, has taken a tremendous amount of punishment this year, an inhuman amount of punishment, in fact. 
We will also see a lot of great action, nine matches in all. We'll very quickly uh, just run down to the stars you're going to be seeing, uh, including Tetsuya Naito teaming with Hiromu Takahashi against Yoshihashi and Will Ospreay. Ospreay and Hiromu, uh, junior heavyweight title matchup upcoming on the tour. Plus, the other members of Bullet Club, Cody, Hangman Page, and Marty Skrull against Kota Ibushi, Juice Robinson, David Finley. I want to not, I'll, I'll settle things down here for a second. I, get your thoughts on the cracks in the fissures that are widening, it appears, with Bullet Club. Uh, it looked like Cody and Kenny Omega were getting ready to come to blows at New Year's Dash over Cody's insistence on striking oh. uh, Coda with a chair and Kenny just, taking exception to it. What is going on, man? Uh, let, let me ask you, do you know where you are right now? Yeah, I'm in Sapporo. Yeah, you're not in Stamford, Connecticut anymore. You don't need to stir uh. the pot. And it, Listen, you, you're part of a family, aren't you? Yeah, of course. You're brothers and sisters? Yes. You ever fight with them at all? Well, if they, yeah, of course you did. You're very incorrigible. Families have disagreements. Okay. They fight. And then they sit down for Sunday dinner. That's the situation with the Bullet Club. The Bullet Club has got such great athletes that you've got a lot of alphas mm. in the pack. But at the end of the day, there can only be one, as they said in the famous movie, The Highlander. And the one is Kenny Omega. But Cody will be fine. The Bucks oh, will be everybody fine. Will just everybody fall in will line. be fine. Do what you're told. March along. Nothing to see here. All right, folks. So uh, we're going to wrap this up. But also know that today, the never open weight six man tag team titles are on the line. Will those uh, seemingly never changing titles, will it stop and will it stay with Fale and the Gorillas? Or will it venture over to the Taguchi Japan team? God, uh, no. All of the lineup of today's event, njpw1972.com. The event begins 6 p.m. local time, so that's 4 a.m. on the East Coast, 1 a.m. Pacific time. Yes. Nine actually. matches. Nine. Am I getting paid extra for this? We'll talk about that this later. This is a great value for New Japan World if it, you're a subscriber. Absolutely. Nine matches. It's now, a lot. of course, we're back tomorrow here in Sapporo with another sensational card. All the cards updated, njpw1972.com. For Don Callis, I'm Kevin Kelly. We'll see you at bell time, everybody, at ringside.